Hello, Timberwolves. Mr. Peters here to welcome you to your registration advisory presentation. Over the course of the next few minutes, you will be guided through the process for requesting classes for next school year. Let's go, Wolfpack. Hi, future Timberwolves. This is Mr. Garrett. As a counseling team, we are here to help as you register for classes at Jackson High School. Take a look at this slide to familiarize yourself with the counseling team divided by alphabet and support staff at Jackson. You can also reach out to your current counselors at your middle schools with any questions you might have. This information can be found on the Heatherwood and Gateway websites. Feel free to pause the presentation at any time if you need to write information down or reference something in the future. The Jackson Counseling webpage also has lots of useful information regarding registering for courses, so give it a look. As we walk you through course registration, you will need the following items. Your course catalog, a copy of which can be found on the Jackson Counseling webpage under graduation requirements, and a copy of your ninth grade pre-registration form. In this presentation, we are going to cover all that we typically do during your middle school transition conferences. This includes reviewing graduation requirements, highlighting new and challenging class offerings, answering frequently asked questions, and providing instructions and guidance on requesting your classes for next school year. As a reminder, course requests are due online by the following date. 8th grade family night is tentatively scheduled for the following date. Let's begin the registration process. Your graduation requirements can be found on the following pages in your course catalog. The course catalog provides the essential info about every Jackson High School class and program. Here's how to read a class description. Number one is the name of the class or course title. In this example, walking. Second is the course code. You can list this on your pre-registration form and use this to search for your courses online. In this example, PED 201 slash PED 202. Third is the location of the class. Pay attention as some classes are listed for other high schools, which Jackson students are generally not allowed to take. You will want to find classes that are listed for JHS. Fourth is the grade level of the course. Again, pay attention as some classes are only offered for certain grade levels. Next is credits that the class offers. Some classes fulfill multiple credit requirements and will be listed here. Next is length of the course, which is either one semester or year long, which equals two semesters. Prerequisites are courses you will need to complete before you can request the course. For example, walking requires completion of PE1 before you can request it. Other contains additional information you might need to know, including equipment and clothing needs, whether the class is repeatable for credit, and additional credit offerings. Some courses include a fee, which is listed here. Finally, a brief description of the course is included. Give it a read so you know what to expect when you take this class. Now that you know how to read a course listing in your course catalog, take a look at the index on the following page to see a full list of courses offered by the Everett School District. The index includes credit information about the course and page numbers where you can find more detailed information about the specific course. Jackson offers many ways to prepare you for the challenge of education beyond high school. Familiarize yourself with these options by looking at the following pages in your course book. As a reminder, AP courses are year-long and often include a summer assignment. Once you're in an AP class, you will not be moved out, so choose wisely. Here are the AP classes that are open to 9th grade students. Jackson will also be offering a number of new courses next year. Find them in your course book for a more detailed description. 
Let's clear up some common areas of confusion. What are electives? Electives are anything you do beyond the minimum. This means your fourth year of math or science, a fourth PE class, a third CTE course, a third year of world language will all count as electives and help you meet this requirement. What about world language? If you're planning on going directly to a four year college after high school, you need a minimum of two years of the same language. The world language exam is also offered in the fall and the spring in which you can earn up to four years or four credits of a world language based on a language you already know. See the Jackson webpage for more information. PPR. What is it anyway? It stands for Personal Pathway Requirement. However, there's no class titled PPR and no class that gives PPR credit. PPR is just a way of encouraging students to pursue at least a few classes that help them explore pathways and potential careers. Do I have to take PE1 in Family Health as a ninth grader? PE1 in Family Health are freshman courses and should be taken in the freshman year. PE1 is required to be completed before taking any other PE course. Health is a graduation requirement. Some students have elected to take these courses over the summer or online to free up space to take something else. Can I take a class over the summer? Many students will choose to take a semester-long class over the summer such as health. Students interested in taking a year-long course such as geometry should know this is not often recommended given the short time frame. More information on signing up for summer classes including course listings and fees can be found on the Everett School District website. Can I take an online course? Freshmen are generally limited to one online course each semester. With part of your six period day, this course will be at no extra charge. To take a course online, please be sure to enter online as an additional course when requesting classes and complete the additional form with parent and guardian signature found on the Jackson Counseling webpage. Took a high school class in middle school? These courses along with the grades and credit will automatically be added to your transcript when you start high school. You can remove them by semester by completing paperwork with your parent or guardian signature by the end of your junior year. All changes are final and can only be done once. Contact your counselor next school year if interested in starting this process. You can find information on waiving up to one credit of PE on the Jackson website. As a reminder, waiving credit does not earn credit and you must complete the paperwork before your sport activity season begins. Contact Mr. Hutt if you have any questions. What is high school like? All ninth grade students are invited to attend a freshman orientation conducted by Link Crew the day before school starts. Students will receive their schedules, can tour of the school, connect with current Jackson students, and get to meet their classmates for the first time. Parents and guardians are invited to attend a separate orientation on the same day. Take a look at the bell schedule for Jackson High School, including lunches. For additional information and answers to frequently asked questions including JROTC, Running Start, and Snow Isle, please see the Jackson Counseling webpage with a separate FAQ page available soon. The following slides are examples of typical schedules for 9th grade students. You now have everything you need to request your classes for next year. Congrats, T-Wolf! The Jackson Counseling webpage and your course catalog have directions on how to enter your request into Home Access Center. Feel free to follow along as I show you how. To request your classes online, go to the district or Jackson website and select Grades and More in the top right corner. Then select the link to Home Access Center or Hack. Enter your student ID number as your username and district password to log in. Now select Classes and then the Request tab, ready to go. You can use your pre-registration form to help guide you as you request classes for next year. On the back of this form, it lists the classes that are open to ninth grade students. Remember, PR stands for prerequisite, R stands for repeatable for credit, meaning you can take this class more than once, and YR stands for a course that is year long. One final reminder, please select a full six courses for each semester 
and list as many alternatives as you are comfortable with. Most students will not receive all the courses that they request, so having a backup plan is important. Remember, more alternatives means less crying later. Let's review all the information you learned today in order to request your classes for next year. That's it! If you have questions, first look for answers in your course catalog and on the Jackson webpage where we will also include additional answers to frequently asked questions. As always, your middle school and Jackson counselors are here for you too. Please email us at any time with questions you have. Go Timberwolves!